Welcome back to Darkwood, everyone. So good news, bad news. The good news is we survived the night, which is becoming a surprising pattern for us. But the bad news is I really feel like we messed up that tunnel situation. But we're going to move on. I thought about it. I think the village is the best place for us to go. We really kind of explored the junkyard. The wreckage is interesting, but I think we needed, um, I think we need oxygen to get in there, and we don't have that yet. Um, I think that it did say the junkyard was the place to get the oxygen tank, but, you know, we really didn't get very far into the village, um, because we were struggling with some, like, mobs and stuff we gotta kill, so I think maybe we push into there and see if we can really make it in there. That does seem like a major location. Um, in fact, I kinda remember... something? Something about it? Yeah, village with the tree was marked on the abandoned journal. Um, and it also mentioned the junkyard. So those are kind of the two areas we got pointed to um, when we when we ended up in this hellhole of a swamp. <laughs> but first things first, let's grab this shiny stone in case we want to trade it. And let's go do some trading. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go do some trading. This is going to need to get boarded up, actually. Let's get ready for that, actually, before we do some trading. So, first thing's second. I'm gonna just pick up a flare. Yeah, I don't need seven flares, do I? How do you split these? There. Four seems like plenty. I've like never used them. <laughs> we must have a bunch more nails somewhere. Right? Didn't I have a stack of like a hundred nails? I had a huge stack of nails. I'm going crazy. Maybe this game never ends, and it just is designed to make you go crazy. I honestly wouldn't put it past these guys. That could just be the, the, the subtle brilliance of the game. Hello, guys. Can't show you that cassette tape I picked up. But I can buy your nails, and your boards, and your scrap metal. What else would I want to buy from you? Pill seems good. Nothing to fix my compressor, huh? Oh, gasoline. Let's buy gasoline. Oh, do we need gasoline? Oh yeah, we can use it to make um, Molotovs, actually. Let's buy those and let's buy the rags. Wow, we spent a lot. It's okay, though. All right, let's cook these. Getting close to another level. If that's what you can call it. Let's suit up and get ready to go north. Um, oh, we didn't even bother to sell that shiny stone. Well, we can do it next time. Uh, let's make some Molotovs for sure. We can make three of them. These things I think are really good. Or at least I know how to use them. <laughs> Which maybe isn't quite the same thing. We almost never use this knife. Flares. Okay, nails we'll leave here. Boards we'll leave here. Scrap metal we'll leave here. Is it the same price to repair? Yeah, I think it is. Doesn't feel reasonable to repair that. Can you repair a torch? No. It just burns out. Which is fine. We don't have what we need to make a... We actually used up a lot of fuel there. Okay, let's do this. And we do have extra, we're getting more and more space in here, which is helpful. Okay, that feels good. So, let's turn off the generator. Uh, so we've got plenty in there for tonight. Say farewell to our friends, the three. And head north. Do north. I think we need the Molotov cocktails for them. If I remember correctly, the monster we were fighting that killed us. The chomper, maybe, was it? It's covered in like a black goop. Whatever we call that stuff. So let's come up here. Yeah, it was in this way, right? God, I don't totally remember this place. It was, it was a while ago. But I think we didn't get very far in here. Actually, I'm going to get the 
Molotov ready just because we did get owned by whatever was in here last time, I think. So we can even come this way. We can even jump in through that window, actually. Should we do that? Yeah, let's do that. Yay. Okay, we didn't even get this far. We must not have gone quite this way. Whew, this is kind of disorienting in here. There's something in there. Ah, oh, it says something on the ground. The word thieves has been scratched out on the floor. Thank you. Thank you, game. Switching back to the axe here. There's something in the water, I'm sure. Just grab this, especially those nails. Let's jump through. There's something there. Destroyed painting. Oh! Weird. Am I going to be able to show that to someone? It's kind of annoying that the three don't really look at anything of mine. Picking all this stuff up and then who do I show it to? Okay, there's fire in here. Who are you? I was going to ask you the same thing. Cripple. Wait, bloody hell, you're alive. The old man extends his hand, blindly trying to reach me. You're not from around here, eh? Cannot be, hmm? All them lads are dead. It's only me, me and... He finally finds my arm and grabs it. For a moment he clutches my hand in silence. Then I hear him mumbling under his breath. I don't have anything, mate. Only this, this chair, bloody hell. His gaze stops somewhere under the leaky barn ceiling. What? The old man suddenly jumps up. What are you saying? I feel his long fingernails digging into my hand. Ugh. Ain't no fucking tree, that. It looks like a tree, but those faces. I know them, buggers. Every single one of them. So close and so fake. They're not real, they're not. From time to time, I thank God I went blind. I don't have to look at them. Oh, he's blind. I see. The old man lets go of my hand to lean against the broken back of the chair. He sighs with relief. It disgusts me. It fucking disgusts me, this buggery, these fucking scum. All the time I have to listen to this pathetic blabber, complaining all the time, as if I were supposed to believe it's human. That it's me, Zaka. Yeah, right. He suddenly reaches toward me with both hands, almost falling out from the chair. He grabs under my sleeve. I feel all his weight on me. You lad, you've got to get your hands and legs. God, you've got your hands and legs. Strong arms. I beg you, get rid of that filth from my village. I can't bear another day of that abomination wailing and sobbing. I want to die in peace. Fucking hell, I want to die in peace. Okay, so he wants us to kill this tree? Listen to me, I thought about it for a long time. I've had a lot of time to think. Fuck's sake. Oh, his eyes widen. His pupils are milky white. I can feel him climbing my coat. You need to find the basement. Jassiak's basement. I remember it. It's right next to the tree. The tree is too large. So if you can't reach it from the top, you've got to try it from the bottom. Find the basement. And there, surely, you'll find the tree's roots. The bloody thing must have roots, that's where they are. Destroy them, pull them, drag them, twist the fuck out of them, you'll find a way, eh? I know you will. The old man slides down from my coat, straight into his destroyed wheelchair. For a moment he searches for a stone, which he uses to prop himself up against the muddy floor of the barn. Thank you, thank you. All right. Got some stuff to do, finally. Okay, gossip. Years ago, when me eyes were good, people used to pass through here. They would leave their huts and go there, where that damn tree grows. They would often leave at night so that no one could see them. They went into the deep, dark woods and never came back. Huh? Some of them would say they're going home, but most of them were silent. I don't know. The land has changed. The trees have cut us off from the rest of the world, but home for me has always been here. Then that monstrous moaning abomination grew out of the ground. It blocked the passage, and that's that. I see. So we get rid of the tree, we can leave. No one has managed to pass through since then. Maybe people found some other place. Maybe they died at the swamps, just like us. More gossip. If you come across some wheels, two little wheels, so that I could fix me chair, maybe you would benefit from it as well. Okay. Gossip. It used to be different here. First, the woods changed. The trees started sprouting up everywhere. We were cut off. Then the water flooded our fields. People went crazy out of hunger. They fought over food. What are you going on on about again? <laughs> the old man leans towards me, Scallon. The wheelchair? The war took me legs. Then those wankers burned my house and me pigs, but it was years after the war. They said it was to fight the disease, so they said. And my Zoka, the disease took her from me. Ah. All I have is this wheelchair and this land. More gossip. Wow. 
No one lives around here anymore. Everyone is dead. Only sometimes. The man lowers his voice. Sometimes I hear footsteps. They wake me up at night. Yeah, how do you sleep through the night, dude? The sound of bare feet against the floor. And bells, sort of. They come out of nowhere. They move towards the trees, then come back. They pass me and fall silent. They're like a nightmare. A bloody nightmare. All right, we're done with gossip. Show item. Photo of a road. The old man grabs the photograph, feels it, then takes out a small glass object from his pocket and puts it to his eye. The road. The road home. What a load of bollocks. The road to madness is what it is. Aww. Yeah, I'm feeling that, dude. I'm feeling that. Okay, well, tree. Um, you're blockaded back here. There's a backpack with fish? What do I do with fish? Do I need to remove that blockade? I don't know that I do. So, and the tree? Yeah, you want me to get rid of the tree, dude. You've been pretty clear about that. You're going the opposite way. Oh, I am? Is it up here? I like that he's helping me out. I guess he really wants this tree gone. I see. Is this the big tree? Yeah, it's getting some sort of sound. Oh, it's moving in weird ways. Oh, talking tree examine. Oh, hello. The tree is gigantic. Its bark stays in constant motion. It swells up and collapses into itself, as if breathing. I see human silhouettes growing out of the tree trunk. They're also moving, as if gesturing in slow motion. Dozens of mouths repeat their lines simultaneously, creating a uniform, noisy murmur. Oh. Between the bows, I catch a man's gaze. It's fixed on me. His body, similarly to the other beings, seems to form an integral part of the tree. His limbs are gnarled and his face is grotesquely deformed. He's the only one to acknowledge my presence. His hand slowly raises, pointing to something on the horizon, above the roofs of the destroyed village. The man's lips are moving, but his, the ghastly murmur of the other voices drowns out his words. Kick the tree, hoping the voices will go silent, try to climb the tree, look at the lips of the person talking. Let's do that. Even though the figure speaks sluggishly, it is too high for me to read its lips properly. I think one of the words is a radio. Oh, I have a radio. Try to climb the tree? I don't really want to, but... The bark is slimy and soft. Its creases move away from my shoes and hands. I feel the arms that protrude from the root tugging at my clothes. I'm not sure if they want to drag me down or pull me closer. I barely break free from their grasp. Climbing up is out of the question. Yeah, okay. I guess kick it? Oh, this feels dirty. I kick the tree trunk with all my strength. Breaking a branch, shit. Sticking out from between the roots. It hurts. I hear a silent voice coming from beneath my feet. It's the face of a man who's grown into the root. He's completely covered in bark. His lips barely stick above the mud and his raised arms resemble branches. One of them is broken in the elbow. The stump bleeds a white gooey substance. Instead of seeping down, it slowly flows upward, forming a new arm. All right. I'll examine. I'm barely able to make out any conversations and squabbles from the horrible noise of the tree bows. You took everything from us. The shouts come from an old man. Only the tip of his head and one of his arms stick out from beneath it. Between the tightly crowded bodies. You stole it, thieves. May the dogs piss on your faces. Right next to him, a woman's head wobbling from side to side repeats, We were hungry. We were hungry. Oh, they're fighting with each other? Oh. Another figure, hiding its face under an enormous root, lets out a chilling shriek. Quiet. Fucking quiet. Leave us in peace. Shut up. He is interrupted by a man next to him, his intestines hanging out from his stomach. It was our common good. It was meant for all of us. You stole it. High above, at the top of the crown, two silhouettes hanging side by side from their hands and legs grown into the trunk are trying to bite each other's faces off. Whew, okay, there's more. I notice a little smiling face of a girl gazing at me from behind a cluster of sleeping heads. Oblivious to the chaos around her, she studies me with curiosity. Just next to her, a massive man calmly hums some melody. The lullaby drowns in the overwhelming noise surrounding the tree. Okay... I can see why you would want me to get rid of this thing. But how? There's supposed to be something right near it. A basement? A house? Where's the... Is it here? Maybe it's here. Okay. Metal door. Basement hatch. The hatch leading to the basement is blocked from the inside. The marks on it suggest someone tried to break it open can't enter um okay is there another way in I don't get it shit the 
hatch leading to the basement is blocked from the inside. Someone tried to break it open. Do I need the, um... One of those, uh... Not oxygen tanks, gasoline tank tanks to blow it up? Like, is there a way to blow it up? I could try one of these, um... Molotov cocktails, too. No. That doesn't do anything. Wardrobe. Medium caliber magazine. Flare. Pill. Food inventory. An old fat notebook almost completely filled with notes. An inventory is drawn up every day. The notes suddenly end in September 1986. Yeah, things didn't go well. Oh, here we go. Josek is dead. We're down to 26. Oh, man. Alright, that's not opening up. But maybe I could get in there if I blew it up. Maybe there's another way in. Can I get in here? There's no way in this way. That seems like it should be the way in. Maybe there's something over here. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the noises from this tree. I'm not a fan of the tree in general, to be honest. Is that a way in? Corpse. Sickle. That could be cool. Ah, this is the way in. Is there anything else before we go in? No. Okay. Let's do it. This is going to be horrible too, isn't it? Whew, okay. Time has stopped, at least. Did I bring a flashlight? I did, I brought a flesh, a fresh flashlight, which I feel good about. Okay. There's something up there. Is there any way around here? Is this all locked off? It's all pretty blocked off. You can see the roots of the tree down here, actually. They're pretty intense. I see. A hole in the wall of the basement must have been made by the gnawing roots. Who's there? What do you want? Um, leave. New journal entry, cellar under the tree. Oh, we have a few. Okay, the cripple. I met a crippled old man in the flooded village. He's the last living inhabitant there. He begged me to destroy the talking tree. Destroying the talking tree. He claims I first need to get to the cellar located near the tree. That's how it will find its roots, which I need to burn. According to him, it's the only way to get rid of this abomination. Advice from a blind, deaf old man with no legs is the only lead I have so far. It's not much, but I've grown accustomed to it. Yeah, that's right. I encountered a talking tree. Its monstrous roots blocked my way back. I saw human figures growing in the bark. Yeah, that was the worst. And then I found the cellar under the tree. Unfortunately, it's completely flooded. I won't be able to progress any further, and it looks like the flooded corridor is the only way out. What? Maybe I won't be able to progress any further. Oh. My feet are slowly sinking into this soft, quaggy floor. I can barely move as if someone was holding me with the anchors. Water, enter. Here goes nothing. The water is dark and cloudy. The corridor seems very long. I'll probably run out of oxygen. I won't be able to swim through this patch without an oxygen tank. Ah! Damn it. Okay, so we need an oxygen tank to get through here. So that's exciting. Can I go in here or does this hurt me? No. Can't go in. So it doesn't matter. Okay. We need an oxygen tank. Okay. We can do that. We get one from the junkyard, I think. That's what we read. We did, right? We did read that. Yeah, cottage located near the junkyard. Some spare compressor parts there. Okay. Well, I might be able to kill the tree for you tonight, buddy. Come here now, come. Basement is flooded, eh? Am I right? Dogs bollocks. Everything is flooded. 
Turns around as if looking for something. Hey, what? Ah, yes, yes. Elephants. Fucking plonkers. Ever seen elephants, matey? Yeah, we have these elephants here, you see. They live here in the western part of the swamp. Their hut is in the thicket in the flooded forest. Since the woods trapped us here, they keep to themselves. They don't fancy us bloody elephants. They have these oxygen tanks. Lots of them tanks. And if the basement is flooded, you can use an oxygen tank, eh? Oh. Food inventory. All sorts of things used to happen in our village. Sometimes a mug got punched out for some silly thing. A faint smile appears on the man's face. But we always stick together when the time came. We had to. I sometimes hear the echoes of those times and the tree's moans. That fucking monstrosity won't let me forget. Okay, so actually then, he's telling us to go somewhere for the... For the, um... Where did he tell us to go, though? He told us to go somewhere. Did I never pick up inventory there? Weird. That doesn't sound right. Um, but he told us to go somewhere to get an oxygen tank. Where was it? The old man advised me to find the elephants and obtain an oxygen tank from them. It will help me pass the flooded cellar corridor. I suppose they live in the western part of the swamp. It's like here? Okay. Man. This is just continues to be a project. Let's get out of here. Preferably alive. Damn it. I didn't actually go this way, so be careful. I went up here. I didn't even go this low. Let's jump through. Right, I didn't actually, I went kind of far around. Okay, let's go down. Still haven't bumped into whatever killed me the first time we were here. Which is fine, I don't need to. Don't need to bump into that. Jump through here. Okay. And then down this way. Surprisingly early, actually. I guess a lot of time was stopped. There's a dog. I'll just kill it. Okay. Great. Now, let's get back to our house. Dog barking somewhere. Oh, this is it. Wow, that was fast. So we do need something to fix the compressor too, which I think we're going to need to fill the oxygen tank. So we need oxygen tanks and we need to fill them. These are rusty oxygen tanks. Damn. And then you're just... Uh, let's cook. Let's cook, cook, cook. It's putting us close. Oh, we're over. Chameleon. Once a day I'll be able to become invisible to enemies if I stay still. I will deal double damage in melee when close to death. That could be good. I'll do that. I want more passive stuff because I'm not good at using remembering the active things in the heat of the moment. So things that just make me stronger I think would be good. Um, okay, we can drop this off. Shovel we should hold on to. Um, logs we don't need, nail we don't need, stone we don't need, empty pill. I wonder how to turn this these pills into something useful, but don't need to figure that out now, I guess. Flares we're not using a ton of. The sickle looks nice too. Okay, we have a lot of stuff, but that's okay. Alright, let's, let's go through the holes and just see if we can find the elephants. I mean, there's not a lot of time left for today. But, I don't know, there's some. So that puts us here. Why would they be called elephants? They're not actually elephants. Western part of the swamp. Be up here, right? Western part of the swamp. That we got damage when we went to, right? In fact, that's what this thing is. 
on the map. Not totally clear what it is, but... Western part of the swamp. It's a pretty vague description, actually, so I'm a little worried this could be a bit of a expansive uh, search here. Let's pick some of this stuff up. Okay, there's some wood here on the map, so it's not the elephants. I mean, maybe we should go more south? I can't even see, that's the thing, I don't even know, do we go south or north? There's a lot, there's actually, I was worried about finding lumber in this place, there's actually a tremendous amount of lumber. Which wasn't something we bumped into quickly, are these the... This is Mushroom Town, we didn't really explore this. Was it wild about exploring it at the time, as I recall? Is there anything in here? Oh, shrine. Okay, there's a shrine. That's cool. Is there anything else? Oh, there's a house. Oh, of course. We don't have a lot. Of... What did we just hit? Shit. Is there anything in here? This feels bad. It's like super poisonous. use my heels. Then I don't even know how to move around in here. Ah! Damn it. Just poisonous mushroom. Alright, we gotta get out of here. This is killing us. This place is literally killing us. What was that? They locked themselves? What is happening in the basement? Oh god. Do I have time to look in the basement? That's all poisonous mushrooms, that's poisonous mushroom. Alright, well that's a whole thing to explore when we have more time. Let's get back to the... So we best did not find the elephants, unless that's the elephants. But I doubt it. Um, so we gotta get back to... The hole. Yeah, it's faster to go back to the hole. I mean, I made my choice anyway, so it's not like we can change it. We did pick up a lot of this stuff. Which is good. The hole's gonna be down here. Yeah, this is the red thing. So we gotta go around that. Okay, so we really need to find these elephants. We also need to find the part to fix the oxygen tank at the junkyard. And then we've got some weird mushroom house with a basement. So there's a lot, actually. Well, at least that's good. We have stuff we can do. We're not like totally stuck on a dead end. That part's good. Let's drink from the well. It's on the early side, but that's okay. Uh, we must have picked up something to cook. Yep. Oh. We are done leveling up. Alright. That must mean we're getting close to the end of the game? It must mean that, right? Interesting. That's a little surprising. Because chapter 2 is not a very natural. Maybe in chapter 3 you don't level up anymore. Maybe we've moved so slowly to get through chapter 1 and 2. That would make some sense. 
I would totally believe that. Um, that's barricaded. That's barricaded. You know, do we have enough stuff that we could repair this? That would be interesting. Um, wood and nails. Let's try. Yeah, that's interesting. We can really lock ourselves in here. Huh, I kind of like that. Okay, oh, this needs to come back. It's only six o'clock. We got some time to make preparations here. I would like to keep our streak of living through the night going, which of course, now that I said that, it's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen at all. But I do feel like we've made this place kind of defensible, or at least more defensible. o'clock. Yeah, we have some wood that we could use, but what would we use it on? I already did this. I mean, some way to barricade up here would be good. Just because that is a choke point. We could move this here and that there, but I don't know. They can just come through this anyway. So I think actually doing it this way is the right way. How are we on fuel? Okay. We're gonna need to, we do have a lot of projects now. I'll barricade this. I know I'm low on the wood, but we'll get more and we have all those things we can mill. And I actually do think that will make Oh, I could even, if I could barricade this. I do think this will actually make this area even more defensible. Or at least it'll reduce the flow of people in. So, turn it on an hour ahead of time, per tradition. Our tradition. Let's pull this down. What is that noise? Oh man, not a, not a fun time to have this thing get stuck. It's when you, someone's just crying. Okay, that's better. There we go. Feels much better. Let's come in here. Let's push this shut. Probably can't repair my ax now. But I have some scrap metal, so let's make a bear trap. We'll just keep it handy. We could throw it down somewhere if we can tell where they're coming from. Okay, another night. Can we make it? We should be able to, but some of the things that pop up could really get us. And night time. It is nice that they made time move faster at night. I guess there's no way it would have worked without that, but. That's new. Right? Ten thirty. Ten fifty. It's 
pretty early in the night for me to be counting off that quickly. Alright. Let's put this here. Hope it gets down before he opens the door. And I'll be ready to use a Molotov. I don't want to screw around. I may have put that trap slightly too high. So I'm nervous about that. Oh. Maybe I try with the axe? It's pretty foolish knowing me, but... Someone's beating down something else. And they're making slow progress on this thing. Oh, here we go. Oh no, still more? Can I like... Oh. I could re-barricade? I don't know how to wood. Oh my gosh, let me just re-barricade. Does this work? Huh. I can't believe that works. Oh, 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 shit. Maybe that was a horrible idea. Now nah, I'm definitely gonna have to use my Molotov. It's dogs. Not my favorite. I'll Molotov just because there's two of them at least. They're gonna break in before morning for sure. I did not expect that. Oh, the door out of this. Oh god. Jump, 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 jump. Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> that was sloppy. Shit, 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 shit. No, 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 no. Oh. Whew. Day 25, folks. We're starting to survive the night. Whew. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you tomorrow.